Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me and I'm going to be showing you my typical everyday makeup and an outfit that I would normally wear for a usual working day. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're new to my channel please do subscribe as I would love to have you back for more videos. First things first I like to spray my face with my Lush Aroma Toning Water as I feel like it just really refreshes and hydrates my skin and it's just a really nice way to start the day. I have several favourite daily moisturisers but the one I'm using today is the Million Dollar Moisturiser by Lush. This is a product that I've loved for so many years and I decided to use this one today because it contains a high SPF. Sometimes if I'm just staying in for the day I won't use a moisturiser with an SPF but it is really helpful if you are going out. And this moisturiser is like heaven, it leaves your skin feeling so so soft and it's incredibly radiant as well so it's an amazing base for a glowy makeup look. And it smells incredible too. Then I like to use a lip scrub, this is also by Lush because I do get quite dry lips so I just like to exfoliate them so they're nice and soft and my lipstick doesn't go all horrible. Then I'm taking my beloved Elizabeth Arden Egg Towel Cream and I'm just popping a bit of this on my lips to really nourish and hydrate them again so they're nice and prepped for lipstick and the lipstick won't dry out my lips. For my base, I'm taking my new favourite foundation, which is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. But the shade is a little bit too pale for me right now, so I'm mixing in some of the Armani Maestro Liquid Bronzer. And I just mix them together on the back of my hand with a little Armani brush and just apply this to my face. And then taking a big, dense, fluffy brush, I'm just buffing this into my skin to blend it all out. And I really love how this foundation looks. It just looks so natural like skin, but really radiant. And it's just basically everything that I like in a foundation. And you can build it up if you need more coverage, but I'm having quite good skin at the moment, so I just like to leave it quite sheer. But it does an amazing job at just perfecting your skin tone and giving you a really nice glow as well. Then I'm taking the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer and applying this to the places on my face that I think need a little bit more coverage, like my chin and around my nose because I get a little bit of redness, and also under my eyes just to brighten that whole area up. And I'm just patting the concealer in with my damp beauty blender, and for me this is no doubt the best way to blend in concealer. Next I'm taking the Armani Maestro Liquid Bronzer again. This is a product that I've just fallen in love with because it's so versatile. It's amazing for darkening and warming up your foundation. It's amazing as an all over bronzer, but it's also incredible to contour with. So that's what I'm doing here. I've just dropped a couple of drops from the pipette onto my contour brush and just applying this in all of the usual places. And it just gives you a really natural and subtle contour, but it also adds lots of color and warmth and glow into your face. It basically puts a little bit of the sun into your face, which I absolutely love and I'm just blending this out with the same fluffy brush that I use for my foundation. So I was definitely supposed to do this step before the bronzer, but never mind. I'm just taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, I think this is in the shade Medium, and taking a little small powder brush, I'm just applying this to the areas of my face that do get a little bit oilier than the rest and where my makeup tends to fall off. Pretty much all the same places that I applied concealer and this is just going to really make the makeup stay on for longer and stay flawless. For blush, I'm taking my current favourite, which is the Dandelion Dew by Benefit. This is a liquid blush, which is a totally new type of product for me, but I've been really enjoying using it. I just squeeze the teeniest amount onto my ring finger, rub them together and give a big smile so the apples of my cheeks pop out and I just blend this in with my fingers. And this just gives a gorgeous, natural, rosy flush to the cheeks. It's really subtle and very, very pretty. And then for the final step of my base, I'm taking the Giorgio Armani Maestro Glow. And I think this is actually a foundation, but I love to use it as a natural highlighter. So I just put a couple of drops of the product onto the brush and apply it directly onto my face to the places that I really want to catch the light and have a really beautiful natural glow. And this product has fast become one of my favorites because as you guys know, I'm all about that no makeup, natural look. And although I love a really beautiful, strong highlight, recently I have been opting 
for a more natural glow and that's exactly what this product does it really doesn't look like you're wearing highlighter at all but when the light catches you at the right angle your skin just looks beautiful now it's time for my brows I just like to brush them through to begin with before I apply any product and I'm using this amazing brush by Benefit which has like a spoolie brush on one end and then an actual brow liner brush on the other side my current favorite brow product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade mine is in the shade taupe which I think is a really good shade for blondes and I honestly take the most minuscule amount of product onto my brush at a time because it's really really easy to overdo it and you can obviously build it up as much as you want but it's much better to start with a small amount and I just like to follow the natural shape of my brow but just fill in the areas that are a little bit bare and just make them look stronger and more defined then I'm taking my favorite brow setting gel which is the archery volley boost fiber gel by soap and glory it's a tinted brow setting gel that also has fibers in so it basically adds hair onto your brows and makes them look literally double the volume and double the thickness and so much more natural and it also really keeps them in place they literally do not budge all day when I use this and then taking my current everyday mascara which is the benefit their real mascara in the brown shade recently I've only been wearing brown mascara because I just feel like it's a lot softer on my complexion black mascara can sometimes look a bit too heavy and a bit too harsh so I've been much preferring to use a brown mascara and I love this one it's a classic it's just lengthening volumizing everything you want from a mascara basically Then I'm taking my Huda Beauty Lip Contour Lip Liner in the shade Bombshell, which is a really pretty rosy nude that perfectly matches the lipstick that I'm going to be wearing. And this step is an essential for me because I just love making my lips look fuller and poutier. And then my everyday lipstick of choice recently has been the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade Super Cindy. It's a very, very beautiful rosy nude, but it is a little bit brighter and bolder than the shades of nude that I usually wear. And when the sun comes out, I just feel like I want to wear something a bit more fun on my lips. I put my hair in a half up half down style just to do my makeup but I kind of like how it's looking so I am going to leave it but I'm just going to brush out all of the knots with my new Disney Tangle teaser which I love so so much and the perfume I'm going to be using today is the new Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Bloom as you all know I'm a huge huge fan of Victor and Rolf fragrance and this one is no exception in fact I actually love it even more than the original Flower Bomb it's just so so fresh and pretty and embodies spring so now I'm going to talk you through my outfit and this has been one of my favorite spring outfits and actually my whole spring style has basically been a variation on this outfit this is the kind of outfit I would wear if I was going out shooting images for my Instagram and blog or going for meetings and press days and that kind of thing the whole look that I try and go for is always very classy and very sophisticated and very polished and put together but also super duper feminine and girly and fun and youthful as well so I usually try and keep one half of my outfit fancy and the other quite Quite simple so today I'm just wearing a simple knitwear top this one's from H&M and it's very simple but I love the flute sleeve detail um, it makes it very feminine and also very current and I always like to have a beautiful accessory on my wrist whether it be a bracelet or a gorgeous watch like this one by Cluse. I've been wearing this every day recently because the baby pink strap just goes with all of my clothes and I love the rose gold detail and I love how minimalist yet feminine and striking this watch is it's the perfect accessory to all my outfits detailed trousers have been a massive thing for me this spring so far I'm really really into them and I love these amazing trousers from Zara they're obviously my color they have a gorgeous tailored look to them which looks so polished but then they also have the beautiful feminine frill detail going all the way down and I just think these are so unique and cool but still really super girly and cute another really big thing for me this spring has been neckties and I'm really trying to kind of like make them my thing and since I started wearing them no outfit feels complete complete without a necktie and this is a gorgeous navy blue and pale pink one from Marks and Spencers and then of course we have to talk about my beloved Chloe Drew bag which has practically become an extension of my body since I got it I love it so so much it makes every single outfit look 10 times better it just completes every single look and I'm totally in love with it I'm gonna call my children Chloe and Drew after the bag and then finally my new favorite pair of shoes which are these gorgeous heeled sandals by Kurt Geiger again these have been practically attached to my feet and I just think they are adorable so a typical working day for a blogger slash youtuber isn't typical at all it's always different but today obviously I was filming a video and I also took some shots of this outfit with my photographer for my blog and Instagram 
and then I'll often head into my favourite cafe where I live and just sit down with a yummy milkshake and get on with some work because I can get really easily distracted when I'm at home. And actually the majority of my work is from a laptop, so this includes looking online for clothes, for hauls and lookbooks and blog posts. This can take me hours and hours. Also sorting through the hundreds of pictures that I take for my blog and writing the blog post of course. And then editing is also a big one, this takes me hours on end, it's very fiddly and very time consuming. If you don't already keep up with my blog I would really appreciate it if you would go and give it a visit because I've been posting a lot more regularly recently now we're into spring and I feel much more inspired so I will leave it linked down below. And of course responding to emails which sounds like an easy task but in fact it's very tedious and I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and as always I shall see you next Monday.